So this is a gentleman that sends me about three boxes every week. He sends me um, about 120 to 135 pounds. In these boxes, he's got a box of 38 pounds, 38 pounds, 42 pounds. So he's got a total of 118 pounds. Now he averages around anywhere from 145 to 165 dollars a pound. So at 165 dollars a pound with 118 pounds, you're looking at a payout of 19,470 dollars. So an average of 6,490 dollars per box, if you would. So you can see why with that kind of money in each box, we really want to make sure that it gets here whole and it's not the box is not broken up. So he's got his boxes totally taped up all the way around with clear shipping tape. Uh, his boxes never have a problem. Uh, it's really good shipping. And I'm going to show you how he can this material also. I'm going to open this up. So we suggest that you double bag it with two trash bags in each box. Just so that if one fails, you have a backup bag. So you see he does exactly that. He's got a second bag inside here. Now, inside here, he's got all of his whole biscuits. Now what he does is he uses a cutting wheel to cut his converters. You can see where the cutting wheel cuts into the biscuit a little bit. So it's an inexpensive way to do it. Then he pulls his biscuits out whole. So you can see inside here, all of his biscuits are, are whole or in big chunks. You can see the cut marks where he took his cutting wheel and just cuts it on either side, removes the uh, converter housing and just pulls out the biscuits whole. So the double bag, and then we just mill them and process them from there. So this is the way you do want to ship them. You want to double bag it. You can put your biscuits in whole. You can also crush them up. If you remember, for safety with the health, you want to wear a respirator, not a dust mask. So you got a two cartridge respirator. This is what they wear at some of the bigger plants. Um, also, uh, we, we, I, I really prefer is uh, 3M VersaFlow makes a uh, dust mask that you put on a belt. It brings, draws in the air from the bottom, filters it, and then blows it up over the face shield. Very, very comfortable, especially in heated uh, areas where you're, you have unair conditioned or warehouse space or garage space where you're working. So again, see how these boxes are nice and tight in the hole. Now I'm gonna show you one. This is a customer line. Again, a uh, great customer. Uh, both these guys are, are shipping all, on a regular basis every week. But now this guy's stuff is coming from Columbia. And what you'll see here is we really have a problem with his boxes staying apart. Now part, part of the problem is he does get security checked. This stuff's coming from Columbia. You can see it says security checked. So uh, they open it up, I guess, here in the U.S. Anything from Columbia, I guess they're still trying to shake that reputation from back in the 80s. Um, but now I, this was open and repacked, but this is actually the way it arrived to us. So it was busted out, uh, torn up here. Um, also down here at the bottom, we're going to move this box out of the way. This box here, I'm waiting for these boxes to actually show up and be out of the box. So he wraps it with the shrink wrap, but the shrink wrap really isn't enough to give it the support it needs. So on the other side here, we basically have a blowout of the box here this year. This is also why you want to double bag in case this happens. You get a blowout where the box is ripped apart because it's not taped. You can't just put this uh, around that. Now he's got a double or maybe even triple bag. So if it did break, you know, if one bag breaks, at least you got a second bag. But the chance of this becoming a problem, I'm going to be taking some extensive photos of this. For him. And here's the inside of his bag. This guy is from Columbia. That guy was from over on the West Coast. Now I'm going to tell you something else about the material from outside the country. Now if you can see here, I'm going to tilt this box. I'm trying to tilt this box so you can see it. This box is just back. <laughs> He's got much smaller pieces. So everything he has... I'm going to take it up here. If 
but again, he didn't crush it down, but this is his material here. It's double bag, but it should have been zip tied at the top. It wasn't zip tied, it was just folded over. Actually, yeah, this is just double bag. So, his stuff comes a little more crushed because they knock it out of the converters over in Columbia. So it's not coming in whole biscuits, you know, it's coming in bits and pieces. So, but just two different examples. Uh, what I would suggest, there's another guy that ships to me from Hawaii. He always ships to me in the flat weight boxes that I've done a video on before. Uh, they're only $21 per box. They're six inches high, 12 inches wide, and 12 by 12. You can get up to 60 pounds in there um, for $21 anywhere in the U.S. The reality is you're going to get anywhere from 28 to 32 pounds if you crush it up real fine. Remember, wear your dust mask or your VersaFlow mask, you know, for protection. Um, the other reason why his boxes are coming apart, if you'll notice, this guy here, his boxes are packed nice and tight. So they're full and they don't have a lot of room. If you see here, he's got a lot of extra space here that needs to be filled up. If he packed this with newspaper or cardboard and he reinforced the inside of his box in here, I was sort of telling you, the other guy ships from Hawaii, he takes the clear plastic tape and he reinforces all the inside of the seams on the inside, crisscrosses it. So everything's reinforced before he even puts it, the material in. Then he puts it in. If it's not completely full, he'll put uh, pieces of cardboard and pack it with cardboard or newspaper to take up that empty space. This empty space ends up breaking your box down. So, and then you want to tape all the outside. This material here, I guys use it. I don't really feel it does a whole lot. You're better off to use this packing tape and pack and tape all of your seams real good on the outside of your box. If you had taped all these corners after he seals it, and again, <clears throat> filled the box, taped it real good on all the outside and the inside seams, all the outside corners, his boxes are going to make you make it here without falling apart. But as you can see, we're getting lucky. Every time he, we get a shipment, I expect the butt bag just to be totally busted open because he just does not do a good enough job taping up his boxes. So appreciate you guys checking in with us, letting us share with you how, how we uh, how to ship them and how to make sure your material gets here safe and intact and your boxes don't fall apart. Thanks so much.